What's up? Coming at you guys from one of the craziest places I've ever came to you from. Absolutely no one around for miles. Miles and miles. Welcome to the Idaho vlog. Right now we are smack dab in the middle of Idaho, about 10 minutes north of Riggins, Idaho, which is home to Leighton Van Der Esch of the Dallas Cowboys and ex Boise State Bronco. What are we doing up here? Baker needed to see what the Idaho Outback looked like. So we're up here, we're with my parents. Parents, parents, and dog. That's Ivy. Hobbs is in front of the air conditioner because Hobbs overheats easy. He's a French Bulldog. We're stuck in traffic right now. They're doing some road construction because the road washed out um, about a month ago and they've been doing construction on it ever since. So we're gonna be headed up to my parents bought some land up here and I guess it's a hike and a half to get to. We've already been in the car for about three and a half hours. Now we're getting a little antsy. Oh, are we going? Woo! All right, Idaho Adventure starts now. And are now off the main road onto the home stretch. I think it's about seven miles up, 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 up from the river. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I think we're gonna turn into a, a gravel road here. Pretty crazy because it's starting to rain. It might get a little treacherous. It might get a little bit dangerous. It might get a little bit muddy. I might have to push. You might have to push. I can already feel how fresh the air is. And what animals have you guys seen up here? Bear, you've seen bear? Seen it's moose. not bearable, but we did. Moose. Yeah. Moose troll. And deer. Is really deer. And, ra and rattlesnakes. You've and seen some rattlesnakes. Yes. Hops and a rattlesnake are my biggest fear. Maybe a bear, let's be honest. I'd rather deal with a bear than a cougar. Cause I don't, I don't date older women. We at the supermarket today said, more deer. Rattlesnake. rattlesnake where? Yes. The lady at uh, in town said that more deer and rattlesnakes kill dogs up here than bear, mountain lion, um, moose. Yeah, deer and rattlesnakes. So you, you stay in the car. When I say rattlesnake, you run back to the house. Good spotting the rattlesnake, Bob. I'm a little bit nervous for Hobbs. I'm a little bit nervous for Hobbs. Rattlesnakes, guys, if you're not familiar, look like this. And they have a warning. My parents have killed at their place. Welcome to Jurassic Park. 110 acres starts here. And because it's some of the best hunting in the lower 48, you gotta keep it under wraps. Home sweet home. Welcome to Cook Cabin. That's what I'm that's what I'm naming this. Although a Cook Cabin, like, it's really not much of a cabin. It's literally a garage. My parents bought this from a doctor who never lived up here but the guy that he bought it for was proper mountain man lived up here year round i don't think he loved people coming onto his property collected old tractors and what my parents did i think that that old guy had a bus that he just parked in here my parents ended up adding on so it's now a cute cozy one bedroom apartment with a wild elk baker they added all this kitchen and a little bathroom laundry room and then the bedroom is in the far back who's got the bedroom you do you do my dad sleeps out here bless his soul with the CPAP I'm gonna be on that Alec has the freaking bedroom. You looked up. You looked out, man. Else only if you brought a, only if you brought a girl with you, man. It could really, the magic could really happen. Hey guys, these two pretty much have to be watched at all times because my dad has killed how many? Three rattlesnakes? 
in the grass or on on the grass part where he is mowing right now. Um, and every time they kill a rattlesnake, where is it? This is their tails. Yep, Those, that's some good. And I think rattlesnake rattlesnakes put another ring on for every year. I don't know. So I guess one of those was pretty big. I myself have never killed a rattlesnake in my life. My brother caught a bull snake the other day, but we like bull snakes. Bull snakes kill rattlesnakes. So the dogs will be staying right here because neither one of them have a vaccination for rattlesnakes. And then also up here, like I said, there's every other animal you could imagine. It goes about 60 acres that way and about 50 acres that way. And it's all surrounded by national forest. So no one, no one is, no one, you can't, no one's like 40 miles. You have to go like 40 miles that way to find people. There's people like two miles that way. And then there would be nobody for like 30 miles that way. And behind us, I have no idea, but I intend to find out what's on the other side of that mountain. I'm gonna go grab my nine millimeter and self-protection, cougars, wolves, bears. And I'm gonna go hike up to the top and see what's there. All right, taking my P365, which is a nine millimeter. It is unloaded, no clip in it. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put this clip in my pocket and I'm gonna put this empty gun in my other pocket and we're gonna go for a hike. And if I see any bears, I'm gonna load this and then fire into the air. Crazy hair, don't care. Look at that view though. You guys see just how high up. We got a wild baker coming up here. Just how high up. We can still go higher though. And that's why we got this. Wildlife. Okay, no magazine. Magazine's in my pocket. But I do walk with it so I can quick, quickly load it if I need to. How are the horses? Good. Horses in the back. Hat is painted black and got the suit to match. Is that how it goes? Hat is matted black and the suit is... I don't know how that song goes. Ready to do this? Up, up we go to the top there. Out of all the animals, which would you be most scared to see? Probably a bear or a mountain lion. Yeah, I want to see a mountain lion. It's been like 20 years since I've seen a mountain lion. I don't know if we can see one now. Well, I doubt we will, but just in case, your boy came prepared. If that thing starts attacking you, I'm going to say, Mrs. Baker, don't worry, I got your son. Mrs. Baker is a saint. All right, I said I wanted to see what was behind my parents' place. This is it. Nas more national forest. Absolutely no roads. And it looks like a fire swept through here not too long ago because everything is burnt to a crisp. Which is maybe why the person sold it to them. Because this is only about 400 yards from their house. This Straight sense. up the you hill. Have 10 acres and half of them down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go up that though. That's a hike. That is a hike and a half. I can already see the elk tracks though. Well, if right. elk went, we can too. Hell yeah. <laughs> what are we trying to, what sounds are we making? Right, a wolf? A wolf? <coughs> More of a coyote. Be really cool if one called back. How awesome would that be? Just great, up right? here, up here, literally on the spine. We got mountains on both sides. I would shoot the nine millimeter at something, but I don't want the parents to worry. That view is insane. Man. It is insane. It's starting to clear up too. Sometimes I travel the whole world. I think this is really true for anyone. You travel the whole world and you just forget to look what's in your backyard. Like I grew up in Idaho and I thought everyone had views like this and like that behind me, you know, an hour, two hours from their house. And I travel the world and yes, Australia is still my favorite place, but I come home to Idaho and I'm like, hot damn, this is really pretty freaking cool. So when my parents were like, hey, you know, we got this place that we went in on, I was like, yes, let's get away. No cell phone service, do some fishing. I haven't fished in like a good 10 years. What is up? I always say that, I always start it off. What is up? What's going on? Good morning, party people. To borrow a line from my good buddy Nathan, 
We're here in Whitebird, Idaho. Whitebird, I don't really know what it's known for. I heard it's one of the more wild towns in the USA. We're actually gonna be taking a riverboat tour up the Salmon River today here with Hammer Down River Excursions. I'm gonna link all of their stuff because if you're ever in Idaho, you're gonna wanna check this out. Oh, hey mate, you coming along for this? Hey, you gotta keep all paws inside the boat at all times. This dude, I'll tell you what. The wolves, the bears, the mountain lions, the deer. They said they have more deer that come into town and kill dogs than mountain lions or bears here. So, this good little guy's gonna be staying on the leash with me. Hey, you're about to get hooked up. Hi. Oh, you yo. Do you yeah. sit? Hey, do yes. you sit? Oh, hey, to... hey, here, eat that one and then sit. Okay, bro, don't embarrass me in front of people sit. like this. Oh, there you go. Job. There you go. Babies. Gosh, you're looking thick, bud. <laughs> looking good. Too many snacks, huh, bake? Why not? <laughs> this is his this is his summer bikini wear. <laughs> He's gotta get ready for beach season. So, what we're gonna be doing today, taking a riverboat through some rapids to Hell's Canyon, which is the deepest canyon, fact check me on this, the deepest canyon in America. Deeper than the Grand Canyon. This is definitely like Wild West. That thing says Silver Dollar Saloon over there. Everything's still made out of wood. We are in the middle of the wild, wild west. Your baker. Doesn't get any wild than White Bird, Idaho, man. It doesn't look like it. I, get, I, I can, feel like I could hear gunshots going off. You house. could carry a gun on your hip here and no one's gonna think twice. People got their, their trucks, their dogs in the back, sometimes even horses in the back. I got my horses in the back. And that is the boat we're gonna be taking. our captain for the day. How are you? Homer's in the house. Yep. What are we going to be doing? Uh, well, we got a kind of a, a gamut of things we're going to be doing today. I'm going to give you guys kind of the rundown on the Whitebird area. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I learned and what I know of this river. Uh, we're going to go run some big white water. We're going to try and catch a gigantic fish. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history about the thing. So that sounds like a fun filled yes. day to me. So you see these big poles. Those are for some big fish right there, so. We're gonna try and catch a sturgeon down here in this next little loop pretty quick. You guys don't know what a sturgeon is, pause this video right now and just go type it into Google. Prehistoric looking fish, been around for thousands and thousands of years. Let's put it on the screen. Put it on the screen right here. Yeah, you don't have to look it up. So, the goal of this trip is to catch a sturgeon. They're big, they're elusive. It's catch and release, so everyone out there, like Alec, you don't need to worry. It's going back in the river. They live to about 100 years old. I've never caught one in my life and I've lived in Idaho until I was 25, so. We're gonna hit some rapids here. Here we go. Mother Nature. Um, the Snake River has quite a few dams and it's actually in Hell's Canyon. This is the second deepest gorge in North America. Hell's Canyon is the first, uh, but the Salmon River's got the longest free flowing river, so it's super cool. That's impressive. This is called the Pig Pen Hole. We're going to try and catch a pig out of this thing. The 
Good morning, and a bicep curl all in one. Oh, he is giving a last fight here. I'm tearing a hole in my thumb. Come on, come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. You want to fight, you want to fight. But you're going to run for me. Come on. Yeah, I can feel you're tired. I can feel you're tired. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! You gave up. Oh, that's a beast. Wow. That's a, big fish. that's a real big fish. How long do you think? Seven, eight feet? Yeah, we're gonna go around the motor and get him over here. Whoa! You want me to reel? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. There's a fish right there beside you, Noah. He is ginormous. What's that thing? About 45 minutes? Nine foot, two inches. Already telling fishing stories. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Looks so, like a shark on the side. They don't have any bones in them. No. They're all cartilage. All cartilage. They got these barbs. So we're in the middle of Idaho here, no catching fish. sturgeon with hammer down. Check the hook. And it took me probably a good 55 minutes to reel this fish in. My arms are just absolutely dead. But this feet, this fish. Nine, I'm fishing measured in nine feet two inches, and I didn't know that I had fish this big in Idaho. I definitely wouldn't have been swimming in this <laughs> as a kid. I was just a little kid. <laughs> That's not uncommon. <laughs> Till next week. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Oh man, that was good times. <laughs> that was good times. <laughs> You don't need to always work out. You can come, you can come fishing with hammer down, and get a nice lower back, biceps. My legs are on fire too. <laughs> See pictures of those. You don't realize how massive their heads yeah. are. Oh. oh my word! What do you think, Hobbs? What do you think, Bud? What do you think? You like fish? You wish you had sturgeon for dinner? A little fishy. Not too bad. I'm wiped out. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Just had the fight of my life with that fish, and now we got some river rafting to do. My whole body is shaking. I'm lucky I had that thing. My lower back was going, and this allowed me a little bit more leverage. And now, so we're all going on a hike now to the petroglyphs. We got the two dogs. We got the four people, and then I, I can't even call Hobbs a, a dog because he doesn't hike. We got a petroglyph, so. Was it would have been the Nez Pierce, you said? Yep, so we got the Nez Pierce from Native Americans. He would have lived here. You say for the winter? Yep. Would have eaten mussels, had a tent, and then they had these in the in the rock here. Super cool. I'm trying to think of what that is. That definitely looks like a rattlesnake to me. This is all for stuff on that one. 